one. I'm going to do a haul video here. I'm going, I've got two hauls, but I'm going to do two separate videos because it's quite a bit. The first one is from eBay. It's been a long time since I've ordered from eBay. And yes, my background looks different on my, on my couch. Um, but anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and get started. This is how it came. I mean, whoops, there we go. Big box. And it's stuffed full of sewing patterns. If I, if I remember correctly, there was 45 patterns. Oh, it smells like cigarettes. Oh, gross. That means I've got to air all these out if I'm going to sell any. Oh, he didn't list that in his ad either. Ooh, gross. Mmm. Cigarette smoke. I'm going to have to set every one of these out on my patio and let them air out. Oh, my word. Why didn't he say in his listing it's from a, uh, it's uh, in a home that people smoke in? Anyhow, I don't know if this is simplicity or what because it's this. And it's tied with a string, you know, the old fashioned type of packaging. Oh, gross. Oh, I hate the smell of cigarettes. Because I don't smoke. Simplicity. All right, so it's Simplicity 6856. And let's see what size it says it is. It says 18 and a half and 20 and a half. All right, this will fit me because it says bust 41 and 43. So 18 and a half will fit me if it's a bust 41. I'm not quite that big, but I can narrow it down enough to you know, with the darts and everything, for it to fit me right. <sighs> so, I'm, I'm not going to check all the pattern pieces to see if they're here or not, but I will be complaining about the smell of cigarettes. First, I'm going to go back and check his listing, but I don't think he or she, whoever it is, I don't think the person put in that uh, they smoke in the house. I remember something about it being from an estate sale, but still it shouldn't be that strong. And if they don't smoke, they should have had enough courtesy for their customers to let it air out outside. Because that's what I would have done. I never buy anything from my shop. I never sell anything that smells like cigarettes, never. I need to stick it back in this box as I get through with them because they're all going outside. Oh, just a mmm. Now this doesn't smell too bad, but it still smells a little like cigarettes. It is a quick sew, three six eight, a sizes eighteen, twenty, and twenty two and it has not been cut on and i'm going to put it one on I, i'm going to put all these patterns in my poly ziploc bag like i do when i'm selling them and uh i, I mean i do that in my drawer but anyhow get back to it so it's a quick sew ladies blouse variations and i like these blouses they're really nice it takes me back to my day what year was it made in if it tells me let's see it doesn't tell me what year let me take the pattern out where's the instructions uh oh i don't think i have the instructions hmm I don't see any instructions. Oh well. Maybe, oh, there they are. There it is. I didn't get it out. Right here's the instructions. So let's see here. Um, 
I'm thinking from the way the tops look, I'm thinking 70s. That's what I'm thinking. By the way, this is going to be a little bit of a long video. Not too long, but a little bit. The envelope's tore, and I'm trying to be really careful. I'm going to put tape on it. <coughs> I'm going to put tape on it, and um, put it in my bag. There we go. I got it back in. So anyhow, copyright by Quickso, but it doesn't tell me the year. But it is designed by Kirsten. Martin's song, something like that, but anyhow, there you go. I like that pattern, that's really nice. I'm really I'm going to enjoy using this. Alright, so that's two patterns I can use. Now let's see what else we have here. Size 16, bust 38. I might be able to work with that a little bit, but right here, look at that. Um, Simplicity, 6235, you get a top, skirt, pants, unlined jacket, good, because I don't like lining jackets, well, I have it upside down, don't I, <laughs> and uh, let's see, I think, what does it suggest, for stretchable, Jersey knit, polyester, cotton, nylon, rayon, or acetate such as matte jersey, um, tricot, stretchable double knits of polyester, cotton or wool, jacket, skirt, and pants, and double knit, lightweight wool, tweed, Gabardine, wool, flannel, canvas, duck, denim, chico, poplin, silk linen, novelty, petite linen, even lightweight striped or plain fabric. So, this is from, I know it's from the 70s, I can tell by the style. Uh, yeah, it's 1974. And uh, I'm not sure about those pants. I haven't worn big leg pants in, well, let's see, since the 70s. I think the late 70s is the last time I wore big leg uh, polyester pants. So, um, pants I may not do, but the rest of the outfits I definitely would because I really like them. And um, I've got a lot of nice um, satiny type fabrics. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of cotton and cotton polyester. So I can use the material for these things. So another pattern I can use. Okay, here's a CSO 3814, and it is in my size. And it's for the jacket only. So that's a nice jacket powder, and I think I would like that. It says that it's a um, a loose fitting unlined jacket with purchased shoulder pads. I don't like shoulder pads, so uh, I don't know. I'll have to think about the shoulder pads part because I don't like shoulder pads. Um, and then a high funnel neck, shaped lapels, patch pockets, back neck darts with full length straight sleeves and a purchase top. I have to think about the shoulder pads. But anyhow, it looks like it's from the 80s, 1980 something. Let me see if it'll tell me anywhere. Let me see here. Mm, not here. All right, sometimes inside of the um, instructions, it will tell you the year. 
Some patterns do and some patterns don't. So let's see what it says here. And it's been cut on and I hope I hope it's the right size. But if not, I'll have to check it over. If it's not the size I can use, I can always sell it. And sometimes on the bottom of these instructions, like on the front page, it'll have a year for you. And this one does not. Uh, so, but I'm thinking somewhere in the 80s from the style of it, and if you're using shoulder pads. Because even in the 70s, we didn't use a, shoulder pads a lot. 80s is when it really started coming out. 80s and 90s was the shoulder pad era. Okay. That's a maybe right there. Okay, now we've got another C and so 3808. Let me get something to drink. This coughing. This coughing is driving me crazy. And, uh, but anyhow, it's a real pretty dress. It's a size 14, 16, 18. And, oh, it's a skirt and a top. Oh, I, I keep forgetting to show you the line drawings. Let's see. I, didn't, I don't know if I showed you the line drawings on these three right here. I'm sorry. Here's the line drawings on this pattern here. And then here's the line drawing for the quick sew. Wait a minute. Where is there? There is no line drawings. Let me get the pattern envelope out. No line drawings. Alright, but anyhow, the line drawing is just going to be the sleeve, the back of the shirt, and that's it. Um, I don't think it'll have a pleat or anything. You can use knit. I see there's a knit right here for this pattern. And then you can use cotton for this one and this one here. It says it's designed for knit and stretch fabric. But I'm pretty sure I could get away with cotton for the red shirt right here. I'm pretty sure I could. But from the looks of it, I think I can. Okay, and then here's the line drawings from this pattern here. That's the one that has the skirt, the pants, and all that. Okay, and then here's the, I already showed you the line drawings on that one. Alright, so anyhow, here's this dress that I'm getting ready to talk about. Really pretty. I like the border print on this. And this does not tell me when it was made. Nope. And uh, there's the line drawings right there. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm, if I if I can find me some border print that's real pretty and summery looking, I'm gonna make this set. Let's see, size. What did I say? 14 through 18. Um. Yep, I definitely can use this. This has my bust size in it. Okay. I hate opening this bag, it's awful. Now that's... That's cute, I think. But... Hmm. They're straight legs. But anyhow, Simplicity 9030, size 12, waist 26 and a half. Don't think I have a waist 26 and a half waist anymore. There, there it is. You get the shorts and the pants. And there's the line drawing for it. Where is it? Right there. No, over this way. There we go. Get my fingers out of your way. Alright, so anyhow, there's the line drawings for you. And it looks like it's cotton material. And it says super jippy. Uh... It has pockets and cord drawstring throughout the uh, casing. If I made these, I would put elastic in. I wouldn't, well, I might do a drawstring. I don't know. 
I'd have to think about it, but I do like that pattern. And 26 and a half waist, I'd really, really have to check into that because I don't think I can, but I can draft it where it can fit me. And I've been needing some pants like this and shorts. And then for my daughters too, both of them. Okay, and then, one well, of my granddaughter too, my oldest granddaughter, you, you saw in one of my videos when she, they were here in November, wow, she's getting tall. She's getting taller than me, and I'm five foot five, and she's only 12. But anyhow, um, Simplicity 8675. This looks like a dress from the 70s. It's a size 10. I know that size 10 is not going to fit me. Uh, nip, 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 nip. The bus says it is, what size did I say? A 10? 32 and a half. I haven't been a size bus 32 and a half in 30 years or more. So, I do like the dress though. I really do like that. So I'm going to keep a, I'm going to write down a note that I really like this dress and I'm going to see if I can't keep a check on eBay to see if I can find one in my size. So this one, if it, it has not been cut and let me double check and make sure. Yes, it's been cut on, but now I need to check and see if all the pattern pieces are here. If they are, then I'm going to be, I always take pictures of the pattern pieces. And I usually try to sell something that hasn't been cut on. But I'm not going to waste this pattern. So if all the pieces have been, are in here, then, you know, I'm going to take individual pictures of the pattern pieces so people can see. Because I like to be honest. And I always put in, I, in my pictures, I put in the front of the cover. You know, I do a picture like this. Then I do a picture like this. And then I do a picture like this with the pattern pieces next to it and the instructions. That way they know they're getting everything and what they're getting. But anyhow, here's the line drawing on the back. So this one I'm definitely going to put in my Etsy store. If, um, there we go. Um, if all the pieces are here, it's supposed to have 11 pieces. I want to make sure they're all in there. So this I'm going to keep to the side so I can check it. Oh, I like this. I haven't seen this kind of a top in a very, very long time. Size 16, Simplicity 7533. Look at that. I really like that. And I said, what size? 16. And I think I can make this to fit my bust. I might have to go a little bit out a little. <laughs> I'll make it a little bigger than it. I'm not big. I'm like a medium sized bust. So a 38, 40, something like that. Anyhow, here's the line drawings on the back. Right there. Looks like it has a zipper on the back. Let me see what it says for notions. Um, notions, here we go. Seam binding, stretch lace, and a zipper, 20 inch zipper. So they have zippers on the back. Wow. And what year is this from? 1976. See, I know my years. You know, with me doing Etsy so much, I can pretty much tell you how close to the year it is. Okay, here's another pattern. I told you this is going to be kind of long. It's already 19 minutes. Maybe if I wouldn't talk so much, too. 7018. It's a simplicity. It's one size, so it must be handbags. And it is. Because here's the line drawings for it. So these will be nice. And been cut on. But you know what? That's okay. Because the only thing I don't like is this belt right here. In the day, it was popular, but I wouldn't be wearing that belt. Is that the only belt? Oh, no, and then there's another belt right right here, right there. I don't like that belt either, but I do like the handbag. And it, um, it's called a boho bag or something like that. And uh, so I do like that. I do like, whoops, 
I like this bag right here too. It doesn't show it on the back, but it says Mrs. Belts and Bags. Um, one, two, and three belts. One, two, and three. Oh, okay, there's three versions of it. Have extra stitching lines for small, medium, and large. Top stitch belts. View one and two have self-tie ends wrapped in back and tied in front. View three belt is gathered to buckle. Back view four with contrasting facing has self-fabric handles and purchased handbag rods and knobs slip through casings. Back five with contrasting facing has purchased hoop handles for handbags slip through casings. View six bag with contrasting or matching facing is a tie knot. So view six, where's that at? Five. Okay, so here's the view six bag right here. And then the view five is this one right here with the hoops. And then view four. What did they say about that one? Contrasting facings. Alright, so fabric handles for this bag right here. Get my finger out of the way and you can see it better. So I do like that one. Alright. It's in a plastic trash bag. Okay. Oh, I like this. Oh, a dress and a jacket. Ooh. It's Simplicity 8857. It's a size 14. And a size 14 on here for my bust. Mm, a little small, but I can uh, make it, um, I can make the bust where it's not so, you know, like they want it to. I can maybe stretch it out a little bit. But anyhow, I really do like that dress. And it does have a zipper. And here's the line drawings. I'm doing this on my movie maker on my computer, so just accidentally swung the bag. Um, anyhow, I'm making this on my movie maker, so let's hope that this volume and everything comes out right, because sometimes it doesn't. Okay, Simplicity 9003, and it's size 40, 42, 44, 46, and it's a dress. It is a shirt dress and tie belt, and the bust is too big for me if I did the size 40, but because they're saying bust 44, I just wonder if I, no, I couldn't take it in that much, I don't think. I would have to show this to my mother. Now, she's an expert when it comes to sewing. Uh, she used to sew all my clothes growing up, so I would have to ask her, do you think, do you think I could take this bust into my size? So we'll see what she says, because I'll be seeing her here soon. I'm not doing this right here. There you go. Now, I'm trying to see on the bottom edge of the pattern if you're seeing the line drawings correctly, but I really do like that dress. I like the slits on the sides. Now, I don't know if I would... Now, I might do the pocket. Because I like the way that they have the blue and white. And then the white um, bias tape for the pocket. I like that. But anyhow, we'll see. I'll show that to my mother and see what she thinks. If not, then I know I can make one for my sister. But I'd rather make one for myself. Okay, so, uh, Simplicity 8887, it's a running and jogging set, and I know this is from the, from the maybe late 70s, early 80s. Let me see if I'm correct. 1979, I told you, the late 70s, early 80s. So I don't do stuff like this, but anyhow, there's the line drawings. And size 10, 12, and 14. Let me check the pattern now. It has been cut on, so I need to see exactly how many pieces have been cut on, what sizes they are, and I list all that in my, um, in my, um, 
listing two. Okay, simplicity, 5182, size 20 and a half, 22 and a half, and 24 and a half. I really like these tops. And let's see, so 20 and a half is the smallest. Still too big for me. I'd have to go down to a to a 16 and a half. So what is it? Two sizes smaller than I need. So this is one that I definitely would like to have because I really like this blue top right there. And then I like this one here. And I don't have many short sleeves, so probably this one too. I like them all really. So I'm gonna have to write this one down also and hunt for it. Let's see what else we have in here. Just give me a handful. Okay, we have Simplicity 9212. It says it contains two sizes, 18 and 20. And it looks like an 80s dress. It's a nice dress. I don't know if I'd be that crazy about it. 1979, I was close. I said the 80s. So 1979 and it does it looks like it has an elastic waist let's see what it says suitable for knit or woven fabrics uh, da, 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 da. elastic waistline I thought so I don't like elastic waistline so this I would be putting into my Etsy store and it has been cut on so I need to really check this one out my cat you ought to see my cat over here she she just sits there sometimes and stares into outer space. It's not even dinner time yet. It's like 10 minutes to 4. She's just sitting there. You ought to see her. She is something else. She's a cute, cute thing. She's a good cat. She's my savior cat. All right. So we have, oh, I haven't seen a pattern like this in ages. I don't know about the wide leg part, but I really do like that jacket. Anyhow, it is Simplicity 7046, size 10, plus 32 and a half. Mm. Way too small for me, but I really do like the jacket part. And um, this one right here, whoops, right here, right here. There, that's the one. I like that. And do you know what we used to do back in the 70s? Uh, for those of you that are too young to, to know, we used to wear jackets with the short sleeves like that, and then we would wear like um, long sleeve shirts underneath it, like a bodysuit type or something. We used to do that. So anyhow, it comes with the skirt pants and the long sleeve and the short sleeve jacket. And set in sleeves button closure so you've got one one two three four five about six buttons on here and I really do like that and what size did I say oh, it's not going to fit me so this will go in my Etsy store so that's something else I want to do a search for and there's the line drawing it's right there Can you see that? Okay. Oh, I haven't seen anything like this in so long. Oh, I made a jumper like this. Matter of fact, it's pretty much almost like this. And I have a picture of myself wearing it and sitting in front of our Christmas tree in 1970. 1970. So let's see when this pattern is from. 1969. <laughs> All right, Simplicity 8413. Yep, I made a jumper just like that. And if I can find the picture, I'm gonna insert it right here. Because, uh, yeah, wow, that brings back memories. I made that in home ec in junior high school. Well, y'all call it middle school now. I still call, I'd still say high, uh, junior high school. Um, yeah, I went to Tom's River Intermediate School in New Jersey. And I made that jumper. I'm sorry, I'm just reminiscing. And there's the line drawing for it. 
Yeah, I made that jumper. Look at that. The jumper's too small for me. But I can make that for my granddaughter. I wonder if she'd like that. I'll have to show that to her. And make sure all the pieces are in here. They've been cut, but I wonder I can make and make sure that they're all in there. Mini lint. Yeah, it says it's mini lint. Including a tissue lesson chart on how to work with leather like fabrics. So you could use leather on this too. But I used cotton on mine. Cotton polyester. Oh wow. I wish I still had that jumper too. I don't know what happened to it. But uh yeah. Boy, that brings back some memories to see that pattern. It cost sixty-five cents in the day. Look at that. Sixty-five cents in nineteen sixty-nine. Mm -mm -mm. You know what? I'm going to keep that pattern for myself because, like I said, I might make one for my granddaughter. Uh, Simplicity 8886, and this looks like it's something from the 80s, and it's size 8, 10, and 12, and it says Time Saver Stretch Knit, so it's a, a, a knit fabric type pattern. And I really don't like it. <laughs> so I'll be selling this one too. If all, Oh, it hasn't been cut on. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Has not even been cut on. So, I'm going to sell this one. But any of you out there that wants it, it's going to be out in the outside for at least a day or two. And Because we have summer weather here because I live in Florida. And it's like... Oh, close to 90 degrees out there. It was, ooh, so hot. And so I'm going to be, I've got a table on my back porch, and I'm going to spread all these patterns out. The ones I'm going to sell first, I'm going to spread out. And, uh, um, and then I'll list them. Okay. Now, I have... Simplicity 6384 contains size 18 and 20, and it's my size. And I do like the pantsuit and the dress. And I think this is a knit fabric. Ex let's see, extra fabric is needed. Da, da, da. Here we go. Um, back zipper, raglan sleeve, square neckline, belt. What kind of fabric do they suggest? I don't see a fabric suggestion on here. That's strange. You always see a fabric suggestion. I see the notions. Oh, here it is at the bottom. Jersey, crepe, chateng, silk, linen, chalice, sateen, poplin, petite linen, top, and pants. Also in double knit, lightweight wool, and flannel or gabardine so I might have some gabardine I don't know I really do like that though that so I'm keeping that for myself <laughs> oh, I haven't seen anything like this in a long time either I used to wear I used to wear pajamas like that when I was a teenager my mother used to make my pajamas and I used to have a nightgown like this too for the winter time. But anyhow, it is Simplicity 5030. And it feels like it has not been cut on. You know, you can usually tell when you're picking up a pattern. These are the line drawings in the back. Sizes 12 to 14. And watch them not be my size. Because I would probably like to make that nightgown. The short one and the long one. Let's see. What did I say? Size 12 to 14. Nope. But here's something else I can make my granddaughter. I can make her this right here. No, she would like that. I would. There, the bottoms. Here's the. Whoops. Here's the line drawing right here, and you can see that the um, the panties part. They have elastic with um, lace. I don't know if I would do the elastic because she's never really cared much about elastic in her legs. So I may not do the elastic. Um, I just may do like, you know, just let them hang down. I mean, it, it, 
it probably wouldn't look that bad. Okay, I know this is from the 80s. McCall, 6651, size 18, and it is my size according to the day. And let me look at the year. 1979. I said 1980, right? <laughs> okay, anyhow. McCall, 6651. And the dress looks like it has elastic in the waist. Let me check because I may not want to keep this. Well, you know, I don't have to put elastic in the waist either. I could take in the darts a little bit more or I could do like, um, it's got darts in the back. And I could probably do darts a little bit further down, you know, like princess scenes or something. I could probably do it like that. But anyhow, there's the line drawings. And I really do like these dresses. Now, the um, neckline may be a little too low for me, so I'd be raising up that neckline. Or I could put some, like a lace something across here, you know. Um, yeah. But anyhow... That is for me, so I'm keeping that for myself. I still have a lot more patterns. I told you it's about, I think it was about 45, and I didn't pay a whole lot either. Okay. I hate it when the envelopes, uh, the tabs, are not folded correctly, because I'm very picky about that. All right. McCall's 5220 and it says Mrs. Dr Dr Mrs. Dress or Top. So you don't get the pants with it. But I like that. So it's a size what? Large. So let's see what they say for large. Yep, I can do this for myself. Here we go. Alright, so anyhow. There's the dress, there's the top, bring it in a little bit, and here's the line drawing. And fabric suggestion is lightweight cotton, cotton blends, Chalice lightweight corduroy. I would probably just do the cotton or the cotton blend. Because I and seersucker, I have some seersucker, but I think it's a little juvenile. I'll have to check and see. And it says velveteen, but I wouldn't do velveteen or mat mat uh, a mat jersey. I wouldn't do that either. Um, but I would definitely do the cotton blends or the cotton. So I do have some of those. So anyhow, that one I'm going to keep. I'm not doing the long dress. I'm just going to do the short dress. Okay, now, McCall's 3327, size 18. I can make this for myself. Now, the pants on this, the legs don't look that bad. They're not as wide as the others. So, it comes, you can make, where is it? You can make dress A or B. I see what the difference is. Okay, dress A has long sleeves. Dress B has the short sleeves, then you have a short sleeve top, and then you have the pants. And uh, there's the line drawing. And it is my size. So I can make that for myself. I don't have uh, that many long sleeve dresses, but I'm going to um, bring it down a little bit to uh, probably a little bit under my knee, maybe an inch or two under my knee. I don't want them too short. So that's a keeper. Whoa, this envelope is completely poor. All the pieces are falling up too, so some of it has been cut on, but most of it has not. But I do like the pattern. Um, there's only one on here that I like and it's the orange one right here that's the only one that I like so it is a quick sew and the number is where's the number 531 sizes 14, 16, 18, 20 
so I know I can make this, but I don't like the other two because I don't like that ribbon on the bottom of the top. So it says it's a pullover top without bust starts. Um, fabric. What kind of fabric? Notions. What is Angel doing over there? Okay, here we go. Stretch uh, is designed for knit and stretch knit. Uh, single knit, lightweight sweater fabric velour. I, I can I, I can see myself making a shirt in a lightweight knit material for this. But these two others, I don't like them because of the ribbon. I don't like that ribbon. But anyhow, that's a keeper for me. Oh, I like this one too. What year did I say that this quick sew was from? Quick sew, a lot of times, they don't put their, the years that uh, the patterns are made on here. And uh, I don't think it tells you here either. But from the looks of it, I'm going to say the 70s. Probably when it came out, especially for $1.50. So it's got to be sometime in the 70s. Okay, here's a McCall's 3604, size 18, and guess what? It's my size again. So I really like that. I like everything on there. And the tops, the top and the uh, dresses have zippers. And then the pants are, do not have elastic, it looks like. Or does it? I can't tell. Let me see. Um uses a hook and eye for the dress hook and eye pants skirt zipper okay so I need a zipper for the pants on the side I see now it goes on the side here right here so anyhow ooh, I like that all right so that's a keeper I hope all the pieces are in here It's like some of it's been cut, but not all of it. So I hope that everything is in there. Because I want to make it, <coughs> excuse me, I want to make everything on there. Alright, Butterick 3583. Isn't that a nice pattern? I really like that. And this is for stretch knits, moderate stretch knits only. You get a sweater top dress and pants. I guess the sweater is what we would call a cardigan these days. So that's fine with me. Let's see. It says for the notions you need four buttons, which is on the cardigan. Um, a 10 inch invisible zipper or a neckline zipper. And hooks and eyes for the for the dress and for the pants you need one yard of three-quarter inch elastic so these are elastic pants which is fine with me because I, I like elastic pants sometimes and uh, yeah I'm really gonna enjoy making this size 18 it better be my size and it is in the bus line so Another one for me. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, here's a Butterick 5728, size 14. And a size 14 is a, ooh, a lot of too small for me. But I do like it. I think it's nice. So this one I definitely will be selling. It looks like, it looks like it hasn't been cut on. It doesn't look like it's been cut on, but anyhow, here's the line drawings for it. So, that'll go in the two cell pile. This is Quick Butter at 6614, fast and easy time saving shortcut, and you get a jacket, pants, and skirt. And the skirt has uh, slits on the side. 
and let's see here fabric soft and soft or crisp fabric such as broadcloth tweed twill poplin gino and flannel for jacket skirt and pants also silk broadcloth bungee crepe and chalice for skirt Charlie's broadcloth crepe gauze and silk broadcloth for blouse. So and it doesn't have line drawings, but it does have the pattern pieces the way they're cut out. But I didn't see any line drawings as you can see. Oh wait a minute, the line drawings are on the front. There you go. Right there. But it's too small for me. Oh well has elastic in the waist for the pants and the skirt because I see elastic in the waist on the skirt right there. Huh. What size is it? Size B. Size B would be what? It doesn't tell you, does it? Size, oh, here we go. 10, 12, 14. Nope. I wouldn't be able to fit in this. Oh, oh well. Okay. Oh, I like this now. That's a cute little dress. Uh, butter at size 16, 3634. And. Oh, it just has the name of the uh, sewing shop that it came from. But it's so go, the knits only pull on dress. So I probably do like a lightweight knit on this, and it um, says there's a gauge on the back, which there's the gauge right there. Um, it says that it's close, close fitting dress and above knee length, has scooped neckline, extended shoulders, and top stitching, and so it's just two pieces. You have the front, you have the back, and the front. I'm pretty sure. Wait a minute. All right, it's the back that you have the two pieces because I see a line going down the back, uh, like a seam. So if you're going to put a seam there, then you might as well go ahead and put a zipper in. That's what I would do. But anyhow, there's the line drawing for it. See, it's got the seam on it, but I could just put a zipper there. Size 16. Watch it not fit me. 16. Mm, it's a little close. So maybe I can do something about it. Does it use darts? Let me see if it says if it uses darts. Uh, here we go. It doesn't say if it uses darts or not. And it doesn't look like with her wearing it. But it's from the 70s. I can tell that much. And Butterick does not have... Let's see if it's on the flap. No, butter does not have the year that it came out, but it's got to be the 70s because I, I, you know, I can recognize the style of the dress and everything from the 70s. I really like that. So you know what? I'm going to keep that for myself. You know, <coughs> I normally, I normally don't do stripes. That is really nice. Yep. I'm going to see if I can find some striped fabric and make that for me. And, uh, there we go. So hard to tell which direction to fix my hair when it falls down. Okay, this pattern I'm not that crazy about, and I'm glad because it doesn't fit me. 8252, size 12. Simplicity. It is a Mrs. Blouse and ass cut. Blouse with front band, button closing, has front tucks and set in sleeves. View 1 and 2 have shirt type collar. View 1 with side slits has self ass cut. And view 1 and 3 have long sleeves with button cuffs. View 2 has short sleeves and self tie. View 3 has tie collar. So yeah, I, I don't like this and it's probably from the 80s, early 80s. No, it's 1977. But anyhow, I've never liked this type of shirt. This one I might be able to handle, but still a size 12 would be my size. No, far off from being my size. Okay, now I like this. 
size 18 and 20. Oh, good, maybe it'll fit me. <laughs> Simplicity 8261. Look at that. I really, 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 really like that blue top. I really like that blue top. And uh, it's a pullover front slash or front slash opening view one right view one two or three okay um notch collar has set in sleeves that squared armholes braid trim view one has sleeves gathered to button cuffs and self tie belt view one and two have slits in side seams and top stitch view two has sleeves with turn back cuffs. View three has elastic casing at lower and sleeve edges. I see, yeah. So I wouldn't like view three and I wouldn't like uh, view one. So view two is the one that I would make for myself. And here's the line drawings. You see where view three, where is it? View three right here. Has the elastic in it. I'd, I wouldn't like that. But here's view three right here. No, wait a minute. That's view one. Where's view three? Oh, I see. Here's view three right there. The red checkered. Yeah, I wouldn't like that. I like my tops long like this. Now, I might I might decide I might want to do this because, you know, I don't have a lot of long sleeve shirts. And sometimes we get cool evenings. So, anyhow, that's mine. Oh, I have another one of these. Size 10 and I have 12. No, size 10, 12, and 14. 10, 12, and 14. Still not my size. Where's the other one I have like this? Here it is. So I have two of them. 8, 10, 12, and then I have 10, 12, and 24. And then here's the line drawings. Ah, so I have two of these. Alright. Let's go in and stinky back again. Ah. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I'd like this or not. Because, well, no, I can do a short dress. There we go. Or top. It's Simplicity 9033. It's a super jippy, size 12. Well, I know it's too small for me. Yep, too small for me. I'm looking at the size now. It comes with three pieces. So there's the three pieces right there that you get which is the yoke, the back and front, and then your pocket. And then here's the line drawings over here. So I really like that, but it's not my size. So that goes in the Etsy pile. Now this, what is this? This must be one of those mail order things. And it's a size 16 and a half. And it has the pants, uh, dress or tunic. All right, so it comes with the pants, dress, and tunic. That's a nice tunic, and that's a nice dress, too. The pants I probably wouldn't make because they look like they're too wide of a leg for me. But it's number 4976. So 16 and a half. So 16 and a half would be. I can make the uh, dress or the top sleeveless or with sleeves. It doesn't tell you bust measurements or anything on here. You need a 7 inch zipper for the pants, 20 inch zipper for the dress. But where does it tell you about? your bust line and everything for these 
I don't see it. Garments for fabric without nap. It doesn't even tell you the fabric. Oh, here we go. What's this? Hold on a minute. And the pattern hasn't been cut on. Look at that. It has not been cut on. Oh, let's see here. If it tells me anything. Okay, here we go. I found the measurements. Um, what did I say? 16 and a half? Yeah. Close. I can, I can work with a bust on this. It's very close. And... I don't see fabric requirements. That's strange. Let me look over here. Cutting information. I did invocation chart, but no fabric requirements. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know, it doesn't tell me what kind of fabric I can use. So, maybe I can use a cotton. Maybe I can use a cotton uh, polyester or cotton blend. It just, it just shows you how to lay out the fabric, um, I mean the pattern pieces on your fabric. And it tells you how many pieces you have, which is 12. Hem allowance, width of lower edge, and what kind of zipper you need. And it says extra yardage for matching plaid or stripes. But it does not tell you if you can use cotton, polyester, or stretch knit, or whatever. But anyhow, maybe it'll tell you on the pattern piece. But anyhow, I really like it, and I'm going to keep it for myself. So it's not a simplicity McCall's or anything. This must be a mail order to, you know, be at, to look like this. It's got to be a mail order. And this is what the back of it looks like. So, what is this? Skirt and pants with a tie, size 12. So I know it's not going to fit me. 7959 simplicity. No, it won't fit me. Size 12. Nope. It won't fit me. But anyhow, isn't that nice? I like that skirt. And then here's the line drawings. And the skirt has pockets in the, on the sides. Oh, well, it comes with the top, too. I didn't know that. I don't like the top because I don't like anything high up on my neck like that. It bothers my neck. But um, it's a jiffy top, drawstring skirt and pants, uh, top size for stretch knits only, and then doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, fabric requirements. Here we go. N fabrics. Top end stretchable knits only, pants and skirt in cotton types, lightweight muslin, broadcloth, chalice, chambray. P L I S S E, whatever that is, seersucker. I remember seersuckers. I haven't seen those in a long time. Linen types and lightweight knits. And you can use nylon or polyester thread, pants and skirts, seam binding, or stretch lace. Stretch lace? Hmm. I really like that skirt, though. I wonder, even though it's a size 12. I bet you I could do something with this. You know what? I'm going to put it in the pile to keep, and I'm going to look at it a little bit closer. This, oh, I haven't seen a butter pattern look like this ever. It's a butterick. What's the number? Three zero, what is it? Three zero zero one. And that's what it looks like. I've never seen a butterick pattern with uh, looking like that before. Um... It's a size 16 bust 38. I might be able to work with that. I am a 40. I will tell you what I am. I'm a 40B. So I told you I'm medium. But um, this 38 might work okay with me. Does it use darts? Yes, it uses darts. But if I don't bring the darts up so high. I mean 
Okay, it cut me off saying I've reached my limit, so it looks like I'm going to be doing some editing. Maybe I'm doing too much talking. But anyway, I really like this pattern. And um, I think it'll work with me. It says your personal A-line fitting pattern uh, for a perfect fit of new sizing patterns without waistline seams. Determine your figure type and pattern size, then record your measurements on the chart provided. Follow the step-by-step -step cutting and sewing guide to make your personal fitting pattern in fabric, adjusting it to fit your figure. Use the personal fitting pattern as your guide. Uh, new sizing patterns without a fitted waist or waistline seaming. So it's size, you get size 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18 in here. It does use a back zipper. It does have darts up on the back of the shoulders. And it has, your, it has a dart... Um, going about midway to the from the zipper to the bottom of the zipper and of course I would lower the hem on it and I would um, bring down the edge of the necking a little bit maybe but here's the back of it see so you get you have your chart right there and you know your sizing and everything that you can do and then there's the line drawing for it. That's, I just hope all the pieces are in here because everything's been cut. So I'll keep that and see. Now, here's a simplicity pattern without the envelope. I hate selling simplicity patterns without, without the envelopes. So uh, it says a 12 on there. I don't know if it says a size 12, but it says 12. Um, it says you used the skirt, so she probably just cut out the skirt pattern for it. But anyhow, that's what it looks like. Um, and she has it all, all circled in pencil right there. Oops, upside down. As you can tell. Let me check it out. Everything is there. Has not been cut on. I don't think she's even cut out the skirt. Nope. Pattern has not been cut on. So. Says it's a size 12. So if it's a size 12. These bust measurements are not making any sense to me. Bust 87 for a size 12. Hmm. Huh. That doesn't make any sense, bust 87. I don't know. But anyhow, this is what the back of it looks like. So if it's a 12, bust 87, there is no such thing as a bust 87. So, maybe it's interest. I don't know. I'll have to check it out and find out. But, um... I think I would really enjoy making this, especially the skirt. The pants, no, because they're too wide leg. Maybe the, uh, maybe the, maybe the jacket, I'm not sure. But I do know I like that skirt. So we'll keep that there and see what's going on. Now, we have a Simplicity 8707. Uh, extra sure pattern size 12 14 and 16 and I need to take my waist measurements because I don't remember what size my waist is but let me look at the fabric it says that it's uh, um, cotton types so I can make these pants out of cotton there's the leggings uh, the bottom of the legs. I really do like these pants though. But they do have a zipper in the front. I don't do well with zippers in the front. Don't ask me why. I don't know why. But I don't do well. Twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So the biggest size for sixteen and the waist would be a 30. So I need to measure my waist and see what it is. It's been a long time since I've done that. So they have pleats in them too. Zipper on the front. 
I'll have to read the instructions on that one and see, because I usually don't like to do pants with um, zippers in the front. Here's another, Simplicity 8150, ESP, extra shirt pattern, size 10, 12, 14. And it looks like it's a jacket. Yes, it's a hoodie jacket. And this is the bottom of it. Let's see what it says here. It says, Mrs. Front Wrap Jacket, hoodie jacket in case with fold over braid, has pockets, tie belt, and set in sleeves, return back cuffs. Fabric. 54 inch fabric. They don't make 54 inch anymore. I'd have to get 60, but that's okay. Um, fabric types. Here we go. Wool or wool types. Oh, I can't wear wool. Wool, it just makes me itch. But I'm sure I could use like a lightweight fleece or a flannel. Fleece, for sure. Because wool makes me itch. But I bet you I could use fleece on this jacket. You know, like a lightweight fleece. Yeah. Or maybe, uh, probably not a, a knit. But I'm sure I could find something that I can make that jacket out of. That would be nice. It's a nice jacket. I know my mother would like that too. And it was printed in 1977. So, here's the line drawings. So yeah, I'm going to keep that for myself. I really like that. I like the turtleneck she has to go with it. Okay, well, guess what? We're down to three patterns. No, I'm sorry, six patterns. Oh, I like this. I haven't seen this pattern in ages. Now, the pants, I don't like it because they're too wide. Back in my day, that was the thing. We wore those wide-legged pants back in my day. Um, and my mother made all my clothes then, too. Well... 90% of my clothes uh, for the first day of school clothes we got to go to the Sears and Roebuck catalog and the JCPenney catalog okay um, pullover dress or top and pants in half sizes but this is a size 18 and a half and 20 and a half so I know the dress will fit me and see I told you remember I told you that with jackets and stuff we wore the long sleeves underneath it the long sleeve body suits See, that's what I meant right there. A uh, special size for misses and women about five foot two to five foot three. Ooh. Um. Fabric, fabric. Here we go. Denim, chambray, chalice, poplin, lightweight wool, flannel, gabardine, and double knit. If you see my camera moving around, sometimes my I've, I've got the laptop on my leg, and sometimes my leg moves because I I can't sit very long. I get restless. And I was in the middle of making a Barbie nightgown. And I'm still looking for that one pattern. I looked this morning to see maybe if I could find a free pattern. You know, sometimes you can get the free patterns and print them out, but I couldn't find one yet. But I'm still looking. Because one of my viewers, she really wants me to um, see if I can find that pattern and make the pants out of it. But if I can't, I'll find it. I've got other pant uh, patterns for a Barbie doll, and um, I can make something from one of those. Uh, but anyhow, let's get back to this. So, you can make a dress or top and pants. So, there's the line drawings right here. And like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot of editing because I think I'm talking too much. But that's because I have so many patterns. And some of these patterns, if it really brings back memories, like that jumper one, I think I'll take that jumper one out of uh, what I was going to sell on the Etsy and just stick it in my box, if I haven't already done that. Okay, um, yeah, I'm still thinking about that jumper. Um, McCall's 5772. The blouse is not included and the pants are not included. So what's included? The unlined jacket and skirt, that's it. Is a gathered skirt. Oh, wait a minute. Gathered skirt not included. Hold on a minute. Let me see what it, what's included here. You get 11 pieces. You get um, a button jacket. Has forward and slightly extended shoulder line. Collar and flat pouch pockets. Back has inverted pleat 
low yoke. Straight skirt has left zipper and side vents. Okay. So it's just a plain waistline on the skirt. That's what I needed to know. So what size is it? It's a size 20 bust 42. The bust line is a little big for me, but I can always take care of that part. That is no problem. But I really do like that skirt because it's a regular waistband. So I'm definitely going to keep this for myself. Okay. Ooh. I can tell. Oh, I forgot to tell you the year. 1970. What did I say? Let's see, 1977 was the this right here. This, I can tell, looks like either the late 70s or the early 80s. It is McCall 6536, size 10, and it's way, 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 way too small for me. Maybe at one time it would have fit. fit. Uh, button blouses gathered into yoke with forward soldier shoulder line, button neck band, kimono sleeves gathered in button cuffs have gathered cap. Blouse A and C have pointed collar. Blouse B and E have rounded collar. And size 10 is a 32 and a half bust. So anyhow, this is the draw lines on the back. So you have a lot of gathers that, that's going on where the yoke area is right underneath it. I do like that though, but oh well, too small for me. Okay, ooh, I like this one too. Size 14, Simplicity 5359. I like the bottom one. It's got a, like a um, neck. Let me bring this out a little bit. It's got like a turtleneck here and then it has a border on the bottom. I like that one, but size 14 is probably going to be too small for me. This is the one I'm talking about. See, I really like that one, number four. Oh, so 14. Size 14. Oh, yeah. This, the bus line is too small for me to do anything with. It was made in 1972. We have two patterns left to go, and then this video is done. Then I get to do some editing. Simplicity 7078, size 10, 32 and a half bust. How to sew fashion basic blouse, including a tissue lesson chart on how to trim a blouse. And it includes transfers for embroidery in two sizes. So there's the embroidery. And then here's the tops. And then here's the line drawings. I like top one and three. So here's one that is in the blue. I like that. And then I like this yellow one right here. But of course they're too small for me. What in the world is this? Simplicity 9553. What is it? Spats and two bags. Let me see. The spats may be trimmed. What is a spat? Back, back spats. Uh, you have to have elastic, flat metallic trim, narrow cord for lacing. Let me look in the instructions because it says spats. Now this is something you cover over a boot. Because, you know, it has the boots. I'm just wondering if it's something you cover over the boots. Let me look at the instructions. And then it also has a purse, too. Handbag. Um, I'm sorry, I got the pattern in your way. Spats. You sew the pieces together. And pin close zipper under opening edge of spat, placing lower zipper, da da da. 
to put the zipper in to the two pieces of fabric and then you have one whole piece that you side that you sew the side seams and the front two looks like and you slide it over your boot and it's got a little strap underneath that you oh and then it says finishing spats may be trimmed with novelty trim and purchase appliques buttons and lacing oh okay so that's what it is so i'm going to show you what i was reading see right there So that's a spot. Hmm. I learned something new. I have a saying, you should always learn something new every day. And I just did. Okay, so you get that, plus you get a uh, handbag to go with it. You get two styles. You get this style, and then you get this style right here. I had one similar to this, and it was made out of leather. And then it had um, embroidery on the flap. If you ever see the movies from the set, well not movies, but the TV shows from the 70s, sometimes you'll see the women carrying those handbags. I had one like that. So anyhow, you get two handbags and the spats. Hmm, well neat. I think I'm going to keep that for myself and make the spats for my craft fair. Maybe. And find me a pair of boots at the thrift store. And uh, demonstrate them. Yeah, I think I'll do that. That's it of the haul for the sewing patterns.